Hey everyone, so today's video is one a lot of you have been asking for for a very long time, ever since I first started doing YouTube videos three and a half years ago. The Lord of the Rings has been requested and from the beginning I've said yes, but I've never said when. Finally I have watched it, I am only going to be talking about The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the only one I've watched so far. But I will say straight away that I am very much looking forward to watching the other two. I'll also write a review in the below bar, there will be a link to that. Um, yeah, so the plot is something very interesting, the fact that it is a journey, a quest, a, a travel from one place to the other. I'm not sure why I had to define that, but uh, it, it, gives it, it gives it more. I think they always work better with fantasy films if there's more to it, because it means you never know where you're going to end up. You never know who you're going to meet. And I think it's safe to say that with The Lord of the Rings we do meet some very interesting people and we do end up in some very peculiar places. So that works very well. Because they're travelling with the One Ring, it kind of makes you kind of on the edge the whole way. Because I don't know if it's the same for everybody, but I was so nervous that they were going to lose the ring or were going to drop the ring. I think I'm kind of aware that that's not what happens ever. I'm not sure how it ends up, but I'm pretty sure they won't lose it. But don't spoil it if they do. But I'm always on the edge because it's such a precious little thing that you're kind of always worrying that they're going to end up losing it or something's going to get, it's going to get into the wrong hands. So not only are you fighting battles from one destination to the other, you're also trying to protect something and you feel that sense, that urgency when you're watching it. So I think the delivery um, as the novel, the, the novel, well I'm sure the novel's good as well, but as the, as the narrative progresses it, it works very well and you're completely sucked into it. So I think in terms of plot, fantastic. Visually the film is stunning, there are so many vast landscapes that you just mesmerise the whole time. Having said that, I do prefer the more intricate scenes. I love the Hobbit homes, I think they're gorgeous. Uh, I prefer the scenes that there's more going on where you've got you know, the big tree branches and lots of little nooks and crannies to kind of hide in. Um, I prefer those to just the big mountainous views, but both are brilliant in their own ways. Which kind of explains why Part of my part of the reason why my favourite scene is the one with the woman in the woods. I absolutely love that. I just think when they're walking up the staircase, it's absolutely beautiful. And of course, the woman in the woods herself, um, she's just brilliant. She's absolutely beautiful, and I love her quite a lot. So that's a very exciting moment. The soundtrack to the film it is gorgeous. I think I may actually have to go and download some of the songs. I probably won't buy the entire lot, depending on how much it is but certain tracks are beautiful. I think the one that got me the most was the quite sorrowful one that happens just before we get to the woman in the woods actually. I won't say any more about that in fear of spoiling the film for you. But that that was quite a, quite an emotional moment. Despite the fact I wasn't that bothered, it was quite heart, heartbreaking. The characters for the most part are really easy to get on with. Sam I think is brilliant, Pippin I love. Um, Frodo is of course a fantastic character and I love the woman in the woods. Gandalf I didn't really like. I know a lot of people will gasp at me saying that. He's not only one of the most iconic characters in the film, but one of the most iconic characters in the film industry. But to me, he just irritated me, and I didn't like him at all. Um, there are a few moments where I thought maybe I could get on board with this character, but for the most part, I couldn't get on with him. So, you know, it's a bit of an odd one. I don't know if I should feel bad about not liking him, but there we go. But apart from that, the film is fantastic. I really want a ring now. Really looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. Please don't spoil it for me. Do not tell me. Of course, I know little snippets of what happens from there on because it's kind of hard to avoid them. Um, but I I'll say so far, I prefer The Lord of the Rings to Harry Potter. Yes, shock, gasp, I know, minus Bellatrix. If we take Bellatrix out of the equation, there's a good chance I prefer The Lord of the Rings. Let me know if you want me to continue reviewing them and talking about them in... Once I've seen the other two, let me know. But you do please let me know what you think of The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!